Hey everyone, welcome to Draftbit. I'm excited to show you around and help you get familiar with the platform. Let me start by giving you a quick tour of the interface before we dive into using it. In the center is the live canvas. This is where you'll find and see a real-time preview of your app as you build it. On the left-hand side, you'll find your screens and components. The screens panel will show you the list of your screens and the components panel is where you add and manage the building blocks of your app, like text, buttons, images, and more. The right-hand side is your properties panel. This is where you configure whatever you're working on. We have four tabs for styling and layout, component-specific configurations, data bindings, or adding actions and interactions from interactions tab. Along the very left edge is the sidebar menu. This is the blocks page. Blocks are reusable layout patterns to keep your UI consistent. You can build your own from scratch, or you can choose from the block gallery. If your app needs navigation, you can configure stack, tab, and drawer navigators with just a few clicks. From the preview section, you can test your app on different screen sizes and platforms at once. In styles and colors, you can easily define global color palettes and style sheets for your app. The builder also lets you enable tools like segment for analytics and tracking from the integrations page. While you are building your app, the underlying code is being generated and updated. From the view code, you can see the actual code that Draftbit generates for your app. Want to bring in data? Then, in the data section, you can connect to REST APIs, custom backends, or services like Superbase, Xeno, Bubble, or Airtable. In Assets, you can manage images and animations like Lottie files. Anytime you need more flexibility, such as custom logic or components, Head over to custom functions to add JavaScript, import NPM packages, and include your own React Native components. And this is where you manage app white or screen specific variables. In the settings, you can manage platform specific settings, publishing options, and other configuration details. And up at the top, you've got different breakpoints for mobile, tablet, desktop, and bigger screen sizes, platform toggles between web, iOS, and Android, theme switchers, and environment toggle. You can easily switch between development and production environments. When you're ready, you can go live, create share links, export your project, commit to GitHub, and publish to web, Google Play, Apple, App Store, all from right here. All right, now that you know where everything lives, let's build our first screen to show you how it all works. Let's click Add Screen. We can start from scratch or we can choose one of our example screens to save time. We've included dozens of ready-made screens, onboarding flows, dashboards, forms, and more, all fully customizable. Let's search for it. Once your screen is created, you can drag in components from the components drawer. There are over 50 components available, including text, images, buttons, inputs, maps, and more. Let's also add a block to our blank screen. To do that, first we need to head over to blocks and Let's add a block from our block gallery. So this is color mode switcher and it automatically switches between dark and light mode in your app. This ready to use block is a perfect example for us to use in our blank screen. We're just adding it from the components drawer. If you go to the block, you can fully customize the individual components within the block 
and any changes you make will automatically reflect across all screens where that block is used, helping you maintain consistency and speed up your workflow. And on your screens with a component selected, you can use the properties panel on the right to update the layout style and behavior. Let's walk through a quick example. I'll start by changing the color of this button. So right now we're in draft view, it's easier to track the components here and select them. Let's make individual style changes here in the properties panel to this button like background color. We can choose a color from here or if you're using the primary color of your theme, you can update this theme color, this primary color from styles and colors to make a global change across your app. So we're going to edit our theme and change the primary color from here. And you'll instantly see that all components using the primary color update across your app, saving you a ton of time. And next, if you want to update the text under typography, you'll see a set of predefined text styles you can apply from dropdown. And actually you can update those styles from again styles and colors. If you go to your themes under typography, you'll see them and update them globally here. You can also customize these by selecting a different font, a Google font from the dropdown. And you can create a style sheet specific for this button. And reuse this style for other button components. This helps keep your design consistent. Now, if you want to update the text on this component, then go to the data tab. Right now, this text is static, but you can also bind it to variables or dynamic data for more flexibility. Finally, let's add a navigation action to this button. For this, go to the interactions tab and select a trigger like on press, which will open the action editor. From the left side, search for navigate action then use the right panel to configure the destination screen to test the functionality you should use one of the built-in preview options or you can scan the QR code with DraftBit Live Preview app to see it live on your device When you're ready, you can publish your app directly from the builder. Now let's wrap up by heading back to the dashboard. This is your main hub. It's where you manage all your projects, access starter apps, example screens. You can find support and training plans, help and resources. More importantly, the dashboard gives you direct access to our DraftBit 101 video series for step-by-step -step tutorials, helpful how-to and deep-dive videos and walkthroughs, and our expert services if you ever need hands-on help. You can also have a direct access to our community channels. And that's it! We're excited to see what you'll build. Hit Create Project and start exploring. Happy building!